You should see me out in France wearing my tin hat. Mid shot and shell, it's worse than, well, it's even worse than that. Now imagine me in the Maginot line, sitting on a mine in the Maginot line. Now it's turned out nice again. The army life is fine. French girls make a Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz. And today we're going to look at the Electo, the British Tier 4 TD. But is there anything good about this tank? Well, let's do a little bit of history first. This was an experimental tank. Um, not many were made. Um, it was actually developed in 1944. It had numerous issues, so they had to try and resolve those. By the time they resolved those, the war had finished, so they scrapped it. <laughs> as simple as that. I mean, this was a crap tank in real life. That's what the tank looks like in Blitz, and let's be honest, this isn't exactly a fantastic tank, or so it would appear. However, looks are deceiving. You can see here the damage output on the big gun is 155, rate of fire is pretty slow, just shy of six rounds a minute, penetration not bad, armor, whoa, we'll get to that later. When you look at the hit points, it's got 430, no armor realistically, view range not too bad, camo profile fantastic, it has got the best camo profile for any TD in tier 4. DPM 919, which is the worst DPM of every TD in tier 4. Damage wise, well it's got the best damage in tier 4 for any TD, but it's got the worst penetration. It's got the best speed going forwards and backwards of any TD, but let's have a look at this armour. What armour? There is no armour. I mean, this is just nothing. It's just a gun on a bit of foil, realistically. It is unbelievably paper thin. But what's this tank like to play? Well, we've already seen that the pen is pretty pant. So you have to load APCR in order to pen it. And it's not APCR, it's actually premium AP. And then I can pan that T14. Standard ammunition just isn't going to cut it, guys, with this thing. Gun depression, it's got a bit. It doesn't have much. The thing about this tank is the following. It is paper thin. I mean, you only have to sort of look at it aggressively and you'll pen this thing. It's got absolutely dreadful pen on, you know, especially when it's up against tier 5 tanks. And, you know, the chances of you bouncing anything on this thing, well, you've got more chances of finding a unicorn than you have of getting a bounce. And if you do get a bounce, it's pure luck. It is not skill and it is not judgment. However, if you put the big gun in, the chances are you, you are going to do something, although I only tracked that KV-1 there. The big gun, well, it's debatable. There's a big gun and there's a little gun. And I tried both guns out. And the big gun, you get better damage. It's got a much longer reload. It's got a nine and a half second reload compared to the smaller tier four, two, sorry, yeah, tier four gun, which has got a six and a half second reload. When you're up against the, and, and oddly enough, the tier four gun, which is much smaller, and dishes out about, what, 100 damage iron alpha, actually has better penetration than the big derpy tier five gun. Now, one thing you need to do in an Electo, if you're up against a tank like this, get up close because he can't get the gun down to shoot you. That is the thing about this tank. I mean, I'm taking, I'm losing hit points here, but I can back away, boom, he's gone. Add a little bit of help from my friends, of course, but that's the only thing you can do if anybody comes up against you in an Electo, because you're just not going to load quickly enough. You haven't got the mobility because you're a fixed gun and you're paper thin. So you've just got to hope for the best and see what you can do. Now, it's, this is quite funny. I've already done 645 damage here. I've taken two kills. And in a minute, some guy's going to give me a hard time and say, Electo, move. I'm on 60 hit points, you muppet. And that is a scavenger. That scavenger is just going to blow HE in my general direction. I'm gone. I mean, what are you talking about? You know, Electo, move. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Get a grip. You're dead. And I'm going to, you know, try to stay alive in this thing. Which ain't easy, by the way. 
This tank has one of the worst survivability rates in the whole of the game, according to Blitzstars. In fact, it is one of the worst tier 4s in the game, according to Blitzstars. And I am not surprised. I mean, this thing is incredibly difficult to do well in. I mean, I've just done, what, 900 and something damage here. I was a low tier tank in a tier 5 game. I get a first class and I lose a load of credits because I had to use that premium AP. So here we are now on mines. Now I'm in the top tier. And this is what the Electo likes to do. It likes to sit at the back, completely out of harm's way, and hope for the best insofar as the team in front of you are daft enough to come in front of your gun. If you try to brawl in this thing, you're a Muppet. If you try to frontline this thing, you're a bigger Muppet. If you, if you try to play this thing, anything other than camping at the back, and that's about it, you're a Muppet because you're gonna die. It's as simple as that. There is absolutely no redeeming features realistically about this tank. Okay. It's got the best DPM, uh, sorry, it's got the worst DPM in tier 4 uh, for a TD. But it's actually got the best damage when you put the big gun in. But what would you rather have? I mean, the, the reload is so long. It's got absolutely, okay, the mobility is good, it's fast, and it's got great camo value. I mean, the camo profile on this thing is off the charts. But, all the, you know, if anything comes near you and you get spotted proximity-wise, you're screwed. It's as simple as that. I mean, the chances of you surviving a brawl are next to nothing. Now, I'm going to smack this guy with HG, and I'm going to brawl with him because I know he's only going to hit me for about 70 or 80. So, and I've got the hit points I can take that because by the time I load, I can uh, get a low roll on the HE. That's so annoying. But I can still take him out with one shot. It's not too much of a problem. Here we go. Boom. And, okay, I lost some hit points there. But it's not a problem. I mean, I've already taken two kills. I've dished out 965... Sorry, 955 damage. 65 damage. And, you know, I, I, I haven't been on the front line realistically. Okay, I just brawled with the U50, U57. But you can brawl with the U57. Why not? Now I've got... There you go. There's the... Sh it. I need to get rid of him. Oh, look at the aim time. That was lucky. That was actually a lucky shot. The gun on this isn't that spectacular. Now, I'm not loading. I'm loading it with sort of the, the rammer and everything. And I got lucky there as well. We do 1,203 damage, which I think is pretty bloody good in this damn thing. We took three kills and we only get a first class. Mm. We scratch our head wondering why. That means that somebody else has been playing the Electo. Here we go on... What's this one called? Ah, Mirage. And, like I said earlier, the Electo loves to be in a position whereby it doesn't have to move very far, and the enemy team just comes to you. And that is exactly what happens in this game. We just sit here, and they come to us. Oh, we bounce the A20. And this is it. I mean, this is what an Electo likes. It, it doesn't like being anywhere near those guns. And you, you, can you blame it? I mean, you can blow it away quickly. So you've got to be bloody careful in this tank. And I'll be honest with you, and on heart, I absolutely hate this thing. Now, I haven't played it for a long time. I took it out this morning to try and do this video. I did everything in my power to ace the bloody thing. I just couldn't ace it. I have aced it in the past. Um, I hate this tank. I really absolutely hate this tank. And I, I love TDs. But this thing, oh, I just, I, it's just horrible. And look at this SU pushing me out of the way. What a muppet. But it's a low tier game, so you have to expect it. But I really do hate this tank for the passion because I really don't have any redeeming features that I can find. It has no redeeming features. There is nothing good about this bloody tank, in my opinion, apart from the camouflage profile, which is only good if you're far away, like I am here. Other than that, you're screwed. Boom. There we go. Kill number one. So we've done, what, over 800 damage. We've taken a kill and I've not moved from this spot and I don't intend to move from this spot for a long time. 
If everybody else wants to roll in and sort of smack everything, that's up to them. He helps a loose Stuart. Boom, smack you. Yeah, why not? Now we've done 958 damage. I still am not moving from this spot. Look at the reload. Nine seconds, guys. I mean, it's just obscene. It's massive. Hello, BT. Goodbye, BT. I take one hit point. Really? One hit point. Really? Oh, come on. <laughs> To the Stuart. Hello, Stuart. Boom. Smack another one to you. The big derpy gun is quite nice because you, you are not churning out like 140 damage, whereas in the tier 4 gun, you're only churning out 100. Finally get kill number 3. Now I'm going to chase after that Stuart. He's just taken out a tank. It's 3 against 2. I've done 1,237 damage. Hopefully I can smack him. He's only on sort of 20, 40 odd hit points. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, there we go. We get rid of him. 1,318 damage. We've taken four kills. I'm liking this game. We don't get kill number five. Somebody else gets that. Uh, you know, I'm sat there thinking, yeah, this is pretty good. I've done well in the Electo. Maybe I get an ace here. No. It's another bloody first class. Which means somebody is really loving this tank. Don't get very many credits, but it's okay for tier four, I guess. Anyway, that has been the Electo, a tank I don't like in any way, shape or form. I do not find any redeeming features to this tank. Okay, it's got the best speed. Okay, it's got the best damage. Okay, it's got the highest caliber of a TD in tier 4. But it's shit. Let's be frank. Let's not mince our words here. This is a pants tank. It's got no armor and it's got a stupidly long reload. Unfortunately, you've got to grind it and I feel sorry for you. Seriously. You need to be at the back, out of harm's way, waiting for the enemy to present. I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and like below. Um, I'm now on Twitter at Fujit's Blitz. Check me out there. I'm also on Facebook at Fujit's Blitz. Check me out there. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Nice thing to do. Puts a smile on my face. Makes me happy. If you've got any decent replays, by all means, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server and you can upload them there. I hope you enjoyed the Electo. I didn't, <laughs> but I enjoyed making the video. Until the next time, guys, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because you know what? That's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.